Singapore Indoor Stadium is the setting today for Super Sports Arena's live coverage. The 2013 ASEAN Basketball League with the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers meeting the San Miguel Beermen. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Singapore. Alongside Chuck Schreiner, I'm Sean Farquhar. After a sluggish start to the season, the Singapore Slingers are rounding into form. They have won two straight games. They face a San Miguel Beermen team that have dropped two straight. In their last loss, Chuck, to the Westport Malaysia Dragons just over a week ago, Brian Williams, their center, going down with a knee injury. So they have a different look today as they bring in the six foot eleven Matt Rogers. Yeah, I mean, first off glance, how are you going to replace 14.1 points and 12.7 rebounds? However, Matt Rogers, who is more like an outside player, he can hit the uh, long shot for uh, this team from the Philippines, the Beermen. So probably instead of being an inside-out team like they, we have normally seen them play, they're going to have to do some stuff from outside in. Could be trouble for the Beermen today against a very hot Singapore team. Trying to avoid their third straight loss, the head coach of the San Miguel Beermen, Leo Austrian, in an interview with Fox Sports saying, hey, we're disappointed to be 3-3. Three and three. Everyone thought we would dominate this tournament, but with an improved caliber of play amongst the rest of the ABL teams, the San Miguel Beermen are finding it is not easy going. Well, I mean, classic uh, example right here, the Singapore Slingers, uh, but uh, the Beermen last year ran the table. Remember, they won the league very easily easily and uh you know for all they thought they thought they're going to win the whole thing but uh the team from indonesia got in their way so at three and three my goodness they are in a little bit of trouble and again here in the friendly confines of uh, the indoor stadium against a team that can light up and also can run the floor john could be a long night for the beermen if they aren't careful for the slingers this their second of three games over the weekend back on friday they got a 76 72 win against the saigon heat at the unfriendly Tonbin Stadium. And then yesterday, the Westport Malaysia Dragons, behind a big performance from Sammy Monroe, beat the Chang Thailand Slammers 83-66. This the last of three games this weekend in the ABL. So, for more on this game, let's send it over to our reporter today, Michelle Holland. Thank you, Sean. Well, what a difference a couple of weeks makes. Earlier on this month, the Slingers were sat at the, towards the bottom of the table, fifth spot out of six teams. This week, they find themselves catapulted into the second spot thanks to those two consecutive wins. Incidentally, one of those wins was an away win, their first away win this season, which must come with a sigh of relief given that there has been some criticism in the past that the Slingers have been unable to perform when away from home. Well, what's, what's different? What's changed? Well, we spoke to Rashad Jones Jennings earlier on this week, the Slingers forward, and it, uh, it seems that from his point of view, he is now a lot more comfortable with the game, albeit we are six games, or at the time we spoke, we were six games into the season. He feels that his game has finally come together, and it certainly shows he had a huge part to play in those two wins. The first game against the Saigon Heat, he posted 24 points and 23 rebounds. He quickly followed that up with the game on Friday with 29 points and 19 rebounds. It'll be interesting to see tonight how Leo Austria and his team are going to deal with a powerhouse combination. That is Rashad Jones Jennings and Slinger's center, Kyle Jeffers. Sean. Thank you, Michelle. And there you see Rashad Jones Jennings, the number one rebounder now in the ABL, averaging 16 boards per game. Undersized, you know, among typical power forwards, but he's got those long arms and he positions himself so well, Chuck. Oh, excellent. Uh, he does. He, he blocks out. He gets uh, does all the things that a big man does, even though, as you said, he's not that much of a big body, but positions himself very well. Very agile on the low block also, Sean, and uh, they'd be well served to go into him. He looks like he's coming into his own 21 rebounds in the last game against Saigon. And you can hear the crowd giving it up for the San Miguel Beer Man. Of course, Singapore is home to a huge expat Filipino population, and many of them have made their way to the indoor stadium today. Chris Banchiro having an excellent regular season, 16 points per game and four assists, and he has become a focal point of the Beer Man offense. Yeah, one thing he's got to look out for, Sean, is his foul. Sometimes when he gets into foul trouble, and as you said, uh, you know, once he goes out of the game, well, well, their options become very limited. They've got Paulo Rubaldi, but he's not even averaging a point a game. 
So they'd be very well served to keep Banchero in the game and keep him out of foul trouble. And there is Asi Talava, who we have been told will start at the center spot today. Matt Rogers at 6'11", two inches taller than Talava, will go from the power forward position. And now we see the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers. And there is Damian Go, and Chuck, we learned before the game, Damian Go got married earlier today, so he's playing on his wedding day. Well, I mean, he must have made a deal with his wife, because here he is at the game. The honeymoon's going to have to wait. Uh, Damian Go, the potential team member for the Singapore Singers, he will be out there. He doesn't get a lot of playing time, let's do say that, but uh, he is here in case uh, he is needed in a, a game that promises to be a very, very close encounter. Mitchell Fulkov. Now coming out, Fulkov had himself 12 points on 5 of 9 shooting. And the win over the Saigon Heat on Friday, Kyle Jeffers, 16 points, 14 rebounds. And it's the best I have seen him play in his three seasons with the Slingers. Interesting to see that the long, well, way long, who's averaging over 13 points a game, Sean, does not get the start tonight. So an indication on the matchups that uh, Singapore is going to go with. They're going to go with the best players that match up against these pyramids. This is the same starting five that won the game for Saigon on Friday. Desmond O, oh, Don Dulé, Kyle Jeffers, Rashad Jones Jennings, and Mitchell Fulkov at the forward spot. So a small Slingers team to begin this game. Chris Banchero as the point guard, Leo Avenido at the two guard spot. As mentioned, Matt Rogers in his first game replacing Brian Williams at the power forward spot. RJ Rosada as the small forward, and Asi Talava, the Philippine veteran at the center position. Yeah, excellent balance for the uh, Philippines. Beerman for the uh, team that likes to get in the open court. Now, it's, uh, what ought to be another interesting uh, thing to look at is the games in transition. Both these teams love to get on the court and run, and we'll see who does it best, and more importantly, who can take care of the ball, Sean. Very, very important aspect of this game. This game coming to you live on Super Sports Arena. You can also watch it via the live stream. Go to ASEANBasketballLeague.com. You can also like the league on Facebook and follow all the goings on of the ABL at ABL News. We're going to take a break and when we come back, the opening tip, the Slingers looking for their third straight win, Beer Men looking to get off the schneid. You'll see it all in Super Sports Arena right after this. live at the indoor stadium. We are just about set for the tip between the Singapore Slingers and the San Miguel Beer Band. Michelle Holland, Chuck Schreiner, and Sean Fark were on the call for this one. In the center of your picture, Matt Rogers, number 31, playing his first game for the San Miguel Beer Men in place of the injured Brian Williams going down with a knee injury in their loss to the Westport Malaysia Dragons. Brian Williams did not make the trip to Singapore. And there you see Nyo Beng Siong. It was a difficult start to the ABL season for the Singapore Slingers, Chuck. But here we are, seven games in, and it's the best they are playing. Well, you know, I was with you a few games ago, and I was lamenting the fact that their shooting percentage was way down in the 30s. A big improvement since then. I want to talk a little bit about the the, uh, the beer man on the other side of the ball, Asi Talava. A lot of pressure on him tonight because with the absence of Williams, 
he is going to be counted on to do the yeoman's amount of work down low. And it'll be interesting to see if he can stay out of foul trouble enough to do it. We have seen him, you and I, Sean, when we did the William Jones Cup. He used to be a mainstay for that Philippines national team. Now uh, with the Beerman a few right. years right. later right. down right. in his career, uh, I wonder right. if he will have the same sort of problems, right. mainly trying to stay out of foul trouble and keep his composure, especially when the game's on the line. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Plenty of Filipino fans in the stands here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. This one coming in the late afternoon. And despite what we were told, here, Matt Rogers will be tipping it up. And it is controlled by Mitchell Fulkoff, Don Dulé, and the rest of these slingers. It's Dulé, Fulkoff, Jennings, O, and Jeffers for the slingers. Rosada, Banchero, Rogers, Taulava, and Avenido. And here, Jones Jennings gets Rogers off his feet. Loose ball. And it remains in the hands of the Slingers with six seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, nice job by Rogers that time. Didn't go for that first head fake. As you said, did get him off the feet, but recovered very, very well to help Parsley block that shot. Leo Austria, the coach of the beer men, saying Rogers is very quick for a man who goes 2.11 meters or 6 foot 11, if you prefer the Imperial. Hook shot by Jennings. Rims out. Avenido speeds up the floor. Banchero. Comes into the middle, will glide inside for the easy way in. Now it mix up on defense, you can see that time Desmond O going the opposite way, did not block up the passing lanes. Can't do that, defensive mistake hurting the slingers early on. Volkov outside. Volkov will try the three, and hits from downtown. Mitchell Volkov, I mean, if they can get him off and running early on, and that'll just be another uh, way to stretch the Philippine uh, defense as we look at the foul. Wow, and they're calling an unsportsmanlike on Leo Avenido. So they're going to bring it up the floor. Two shots. Well, the referee's trying to possession. stay. possession. Referee's trying to stay right on top of this game from the get-go. I, I didn't see it, but something away from the ball, maybe some grabbing or something, but uh, pretty harsh decision by the referees especially at this juncture in the game. Yeah, we have played a minute and two seconds. And you see the referee, yeah. Sean, motioning with his elbow, so obviously it's some sort of an elbow thrown. Volkov on Friday, five of nine shooting. And probably the one area where the Slingers did not perform well was beyond the arm, just three of 20 from three-point land in their win over Saigon. So two shots, then uh, of course the Slingers get the ball out of bounds. And a nice start for them. Jeffers coming up to the high post. Interchangeable, by the way, Rashad Jones and Jeffers, low post, high post guys. O goes along the baseline. Volkov dumping to Jeffers. Inside hook shot. Too much on that. Rebounded by Avenida. Really pushing it down the court. Loose ball and Volkov saving it. A steal and Beerman turn it over. Yeah, great pursuit by Volkov to run that ball down. Jeffers into the lane. And the foul, I believe, will be on Rogers. Nice post-up move there by uh, Jeffers and a good spin move once he got the ball. Easily switching hands, Sean, from his left to his right. A little and half spin on the play. And in fact, I will correct myself. R.J. Rosada with the reach-in foul. <laughs> Kyle Jeffers going into the game against Saigon, believe it or not, is the best free throw shooter on the Singapore Slingers team, shooting in the high 70s. Interesting, they've got Avenido running the transition instead of Banchero. <laughs> Banchero with the ball now, looking for movement, gets the ball over to Avenido, and Rogers pops up. Rotation to the left, looking for somebody to flash across the middle. He's he's on up. Yeah, he's outside. Now Avenido. Duane cutting that off. And that would be a shot clock violation. That is solid defense on the part of Singapore. Certainly was. We said before, great pursuit by everybody. Again, Volkov playing very, very inspired these first few minutes. That's just exactly what Singapore needs. They need somebody besides their two American uh, imports to step up and do a job and Volkov providing that spark right away, Sean. 
full court pressure now being employed by the beer men. There you go. Got it, got it, got it. Hey, Rico Kowaling in the game for the beer men. Jennings gives to O. On the left side, that was blocked. And off and running again they go. Oh, we haven't laying nobody oh. around. A good finish from RJ Rosada. Outlet pass, Slingers in transition, blocked by Rogers. Shutting down Fulcock. Here's Banchero, one man to beat, flips to Rosada. Banchero off balance. Beerman come away empty handed. Oh, will stop, pop. Play continues. And interestingly enough, it's uh, the Beerman that slow things down now behind Banchero. Banchero has got Desmond O on him through a screen. And Banchero forcing Desmond O to foul. Yeah, he got the first step on uh, Desmond O and was going to take him straight, straight to the basket. And then uh, Desmond has to hold on. Very impressive uh, sequence there by Rogers. You can see him block the ball at the other end, Sean, and wave that finger. No, no, not my house. A la first Matumbo. team. Yeah, first team foul. Oh, a good switch. And Rosada could not finish. That is the third time inside the paint Singapore has uh, blown a defensive assignment. The weak side help slow to develop. Oh, was left unchecked. Jeffers spotted him. And he goes off the glass. Slingers lead 9-4. Nice move by Desmond O. Rolling around the screen. Finger roll there to Lalo. Jones Jennings pulling it down. Delay pull up jumper. Non delay really get to get untracked offensively. This is Kowali. Rogers. Weak side, Talava from the free throw line, gets it to go. Yeah, that's a shot that they'll give Talavo, but every once in a while he'll knock that down. He's known for like eight to 10 feet, that's his range, but knocking down the 18 footer there and a travel. Jones Jennings jumping the feet. 5.57 to go in the first. So interesting start, we, uh, we had thought that the beer men to try and push the ball very hard. That has not been the case, but everything Cheryl has been uh, handling it. They seem very content to get into their half court. Oh, 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 Finished by Rogers. Yeah, that was off the switch by Ryan Rosada. Picking up Rogers' man, and nobody came through on the weak side to help protect Rogers. Got it up, getting down you, blasting it home. Oh, circles inside, wild pass, pinballs around, Banchero. Has got Rosada with him to give. And the foul will be on Folkoff. Yeah, that's a good foul by Folkoff. Two on one, you have to make a commitment. If he guesses right, goes straight for the ball handler. Banchero really should have gotten rid of the ball before then. They've had an easy two, so instead they're going to have to earn it from the line. Chris Banchero. As we see, Wong Wei Long come into the game, did not play on Friday. He had classes. Banchero at the line. We have a new sign. Recently we signed on the modeling agency in the Philippines. He hits both. And the beer men take over, 10-9, 5.20 to go in the opening quarter. Long way long, now at the point. Offense for Singapore a little bit stagnant now. Beer men giving it up a notch, double teaming the ball on that right hand side. So throwing down the trap on the wings are the beer men. They've done that the last couple times and that is probably the reason why the Slingers have called the timeout. Swingers will have the ball with eight seconds on the shot clock. When we return, you're watching the 2013 ASEAN Basketball League on Supersports Arena.
Plenty of Filipino fans have made their way to the Singapore Indoor Stadium in support of the visiting San Miguel Beermen who lead it 10-9 as we get you back. 5.05 to go here in the first. Jumper comes off the rim. Rosado and Banchiro continue to go in the backcourt for the San Miguel Beermen. Great movement downstairs by the near man, great up Rogers. Oh my goodness. He likes to shoot the three. Leo Ashia told him, only take it if you're wide open. That's exactly what he was there. And the near man lead 13 on. Don Dulay puts it on the floor. Great movement without the ball by the near man on their offensive set. Jeffers outside Dulay. Back to Jeffers. He bangs. Hook shot. Talaba coming over. Great help defense. Banchero up for Asi Talaba, who can't squeeze it, now picks it up, and goes off the glass. Yeah, great hands employed there by the beer man down low. Every time they get the ball, Jeffers gets the ball on that low post, immediately drawing a double team, smacked away by Talaba. Singapore is going to have to call a timeout. Yes, this is the Swingers. First timeout, previously a technical timeout, but certainly do not like the way it started for them coming out of the technical timeout. But they've got a couple issues also on their defensive set. Picking down low are the beer men, and every time Rogers comes off that pick, either he's free on that left-hand side by the elbow, or the last chance, he swung around and curled up on top and got the ball with nobody on. We said before that he was free to take that three-point shot with nobody on. He was certainly free then. And he showed what his range is. He knocked it down very calmly. Great first few minutes for Rogers. It really bodes particularly well for the San Miguel beer man. And Ozzy Talaga has hit both of his opening shots. So he's very comfortable now in the center spot. Yeah, uh, you know, you leave him there with that wide body. And then you move Rogers around, something has to give. You can't double team both of them, and I think before it's over, Talava's going to get a lot of looks down low. Beerman up 15-9. Slingers looking for their third straight win. Beerman trying to avoid a third consecutive defeat. Here is Kyle Jeffers operating on the left side. Jeffers, hook shot, and score on a tap back. Yeah, nice play by Jones to time that perfectly to put it back up and down. Jeffers, the invisible man thus far. Look wow, at Banchero going coast to coast, undresses long way long. And again, Jeffers too slow to get over on the helping defense. You see the uh, superlative speed by San Miguel at the guard position, and that has been a big, big plus for uh, the Beermen so far, Sean. Jones Jennings has it go off his foot. Slingers turn it over, down six. Now Banchero, a little stutter step, giving Long a different look. Cutters in the middle, nobody moving there. Fine, Kozada. Yeah, Kowali puts it up, it's short. Well, the Beerman looking very stagnant on that offensive set. You can see the bench over there on the Philippines wanting more movement. They're going to have to run some cutters across the middle to make their guard play more effective. They have been doing it up until now. for Jennings. Jeffers, 18-footer, pulled down. It's a defensive rebound from Jennings. Jeffers has the two free throws, and that's it thus far. Desmond O. Rebound into the hands of Banchero. Trying to whip a pass inside, cut off. And then stolen back at the other end by Banchero, atoning for his mistake. A horrible pass, but good done a recovery by Banchero to get back on D. Talava post up move now on Jeffers. Spin Two around. veterans, kick out, Kowaling, Banchero, eight seconds on the shot clock, air ball, and a double pump move by Ozzy Talava. 
And he is having a strong first quarter with six points. Yeah, he's completely dominating Jeffers right now. Kyle uh, having problems dealing with the physicality of Talaba. Fulcott backing it out. Seven seconds to shoot. Jennings looks for help. He's going to do it himself. Wiener shoots out. Fulcott. the hands of Jones. You can see the dilemma for Singapore right now. The Beermen doing a great job of matching up on their man-to-man. -man. Jones had the ball down low. Nowhere to go. Talava just wearing him as a shirt size. So very, very good defense on the interior by the Beermen. Really limiting the options offensively for Singapore. They do have the perimeter open, but uh, as we've said before, not their strongest suit. Gabe Freeman in the six-man role today into the game. Chris Banchero well. turning it over. And I'll tell you what, Chuck, that foul was offensive. Yes, it was offensive foul. You can see him throwing the elbow. Way long. Uh, almost catching one to the jaw there. Hubalde comes into the game. Banchero sits down. I see Jones waiting for somebody to cut, but nobody moving. Jeffers trying to clear out, finally yeah. gets the ball below, and there's a foul by Rogers. Nice job that time by Jeffers to get underneath Rogers, and that's the first time he's been able to do that all day, and that is something that they might have to look at more and more. It's so Rogers. Rogers, he's really trying to work his way into this Beerman lineup. A defensive miscue there. This comes with a minute 20 to go in the first. Well, I believe Jeffers has two points and uh, Jones has four. You can hear the crowd giving it to Kyle Jeffers on his home floor. That's because there's a huge Filipino crowd on hand today. Obviously supporting the beer men. Rogers. All they matched up with Wong Wei Long. Gabe Freeman puts it on the floor. Crossover. Foul committed. Rogers and Freeman running the passing game very, very well right now with both those guys in the game. It creates more problems for Singapore. Is their physicality now that Talava's out of the game? Interchangeable pieces there. You can see right there, they just, uh, both of them screen high, low. Brought Freeman up to the high post and uh, got a mismatch that he needed and Singapore had to foul. That the third team foul. Freeman was in the act, so he's at the line. Gabe Freeman coming off the bench today, despite the fact that he is third in the ABL in scoring at 20 points per game. But a very, a nice luxury to have. 20-point score and you bring him off the bench. Oh, absolutely. Three big guys. Uh, Singapore really doesn't have anything comparable to that. Volkov steps on the line. Yeah. Singapore, down eight, would be lucky to get out of this quarter given the way they have played. Well, the beer man have brought up their full complement of offense. Uh, they have been very well done very well in transition and in the half court games. You look at Freeman Rock. Oh, whoa. Oh. High off the window. He buries it from one hand. I mean, easily getting around Volkov. You can see these screens starting to take their toll on the slingers. Beerman getting the mismatches rolling off the screens. Very, very well coached team. Desmond O Almost with gone. the left hand loses it and Jeffers recovers. Volkov short on the three into the hands of Rogers, and they're going to have the ball with 10 seconds left in the quarter, and they would hold the last shot. Banchero. Albany does the splits. That's knocked out of bounds. And it will remain Beermen ball with one second left. You know, well, I don't know if they're going to get the shot off, but the uh, point made for the Beermen, they have dominated this first quarter. Hubalde puts it up. 
We have played 10 minutes at the indoor stadium. The San Miguel Beermen looking to avoid their third consecutive defeat. Lead the Slingapore Slingers 22-12. The second quarter when we come back on Super Sports Arena. Gabe Freeman coming off the bench for the San Miguel Beer Men. His jumper giving them a 22-12 lead as we begin play here in quarter two at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Michelle Holland, Chuck Schreiner, and Sean Farquhar on hand for this one. You're watching it live on Super Sports Arena. Also available to you on the live stream at youtube.com slash ABL. Val Acuna in the game now for the San Miguel Beer Men. He begins the second along with Ubalde, Freeman, Rogers, and Kowaling for the Slingers. It's Jeffers, Wang Wei Long, Jones Jennings, Desmond O, oh, and JJ Kabatu seeing his first action today. Kowaling, outside jumper, pulled down by Jennings. With Jeffers having to work so hard on uh, on defense with this unknown guy that's in the game that is just wrecking havoc for the singers, Matt Rogers. A hook shot that was falling for Jeffers on Friday, not working today. Now Freeman, huge mismatch working against Wang Wei Long. Kickball by Jennings. So they'll put 14 seconds back on the shot clock. Beerman with the ball on the side. Yeah, you can see the mismatch you were talking about right there. No weak side help coming over until just a little bit too late. Rogers operating at the top. Down for Freeman, who's now working against Jennings. Jumper in short. Picked up by Acuna. Jennings put the ball on the floor when he should have been looking for the outlet. So. Ball day. Matching up with Long Way Long. Kowali from outside drains the three. Yeah, just taking advantage of mismatches all over the floor. Singapore giving the room to the San Miguel Beermen on offense from the perimeter, and they're knocking down their shots. Hubalde committing the foul as Desmond O oh was penetrating. Yeah, walk, look at it again, and there's the foul just sort of forcing the action on the inside. Not, might not be a bad idea for the Slingers. You have to sort of wonder, Sean, where the Slingers' points are going to come from. Beerman doing a great job in transition, getting back on defense, not allowing Singapore to rock and roll in the open court like they're used to doing, or at least like they've been doing the last couple of games. Oh, hits both. Slingers down by 11. Here comes that switch with Rogers and Freeman again. Ball day. Creating the mismatch. Kowali and Hubalde. Yeah, Rogers. Excellent ball movement by the beer men. Four seconds to shoot. Acuna from the corner, and that's blocked by Jeffers. Great anticipation by Kyle Jeffers there, and that'll be a 24-second violation. We're going to have to see more of that from Singapore. They do have 
some quickness when they get in the half court uh, situation. But the beer men have been pretty much doing what they want to in transition and haven't had to go to the half court. And when they have, they've been running those switches off the screens. Jeffers driving. And following up his own miss, puts it back in. Well, let's see if that gets Kyle off. That's his first field goal. He does have three points on free throws. Rogers, and look at the separation he gets. Jones with another board. Desmond O. And the foul is on Hubalde. In fact, that was long way long. Just lowering his head again, trying to make something happen. They do get the foul on Hubalde, as you said. Now the coaching staff for the Beermen jumping up in protest, arguing that should have been an offensive foul. That's Rico Manessas, the team manager for the Beermen. Unhappy with the call. Desmond O. Shooting it over. Errant pass. And bringing it up. Kowaling Rogers. Oh, that was well off the mark. Yeah. Well, the thought was right. The execution was way off the mark. Uh, he did the right thing. He was drawing the double team. Freeman was all alone on that right-hand side, but threw the ball into the stands. 7.33 to go in the first half. Don Dulé and Wong Wei Long forming the Slinger's backcourt. Jennings got to, knocked out, remains in the hands of the Slingers with 13 seconds on the shot clock. Well, the Slingers shooting percentage from outside, woeful, probably around 35 to 37 percent, I would think, and on the other side of the ball, Beerman must be shooting up in the high 50s at least. So the same sort of troubles that uh, hurt Singapore earlier on the season are starting to rear their heads again. Cabanto getting the ball off. Jeffers is yeah, open for a moment. Guarded by Eric Mank, and it was the insertion of Eric Mank that drew the applause of the crowd. Eric Mank, well known to Philippine basketball fans, a former PBA MVP. Number 30 for the beer bench. And Banchero back at the point. So the beer men look a lot bigger all of a sudden. Gabe yeah. Freeman for Kowale. Pulled down by Jennings. Well, that's got to be seven or eight rebounds now for Jennings already. What a monster he is underneath the glass. Throws the screen there. And here's Dulé, entry pass to Jeffers, double team comes. Jeffers really in love with that hook shot, Chuck. Yeah, doing a great job. Gabe Freeman stuck a hand in there, but then backed off. Jeffers saw that and took advantage of it. So four points, or seven points now for Jeffers. Kowaling with space, throws it away. Don Dulé, he's got Kabatu on the wing. Let the ball get away from him. Off balance, Slingers should have had a deuce. Yeah, long way long, a little bit out of control there. Tries to spin move on the inside. He had a guy posted up on the left-hand side, didn't see him. Val Acuna to Taulava. Flashing across, make from the weak side. That's an easy score. Yep, Singapore defensive uh, set getting sucked up and allowing that baseline to be open. Freeman just sliding in below the defense, getting an easy two. Long way long, and pulled down by Jennings to extend play. Kabatu for three. That's short. Loose ball, that's saved by Freeman. Talava brings it up. And the beer men will slow things down. Banchiro drives. Foul committed by Dulé as Talava was going up for the stuff. Yeah, mismatches all over the place. You saw that time Talava getting the mismatch on Don Dulé, and there must be at least a seven-inch uh, disproportionate 
height disadvantage there from the Singapore side. And uh, you have to give it to the coaching staff for San Miguel Beerman. They've been told to go out and find the mismatches. That's exactly what they've done. Ozzy Talama. One fan bringing a sign encouraging Talama to miss. Talava retired from international competition two years ago. Now focusing on pro ball. And misses both. And Kabatu on the right side waits for help to arrive. He is matched up with Freeman. Another thing the Beermen have done so far on offense, taking excellent uh, percentage shots when they've got the ball. Long way long through a screen. In the corner, Dulay. Jeffers. No foul call, but the Sooners come up with the ball nonetheless. Full shot clock to work with. Kabatu in rhythm. That's a brick. Oh, Jeffers tries to save it going out of bounds right into the hands of the Beermen. Freeman. Loves to work in the open floor. Mink and Freeman on the putback effort. Yeah, no boxing out by Singapore at all, allowing Freeman just to glide through the lane like that. He should never, ever have such an easy uh, path to the basket. Beerman leading the Slingers 29-18, 4.17 to go in the first half as we step away. The San Miguel Billman on the road and in charge, leading the Singapore Slingers 29-18 with 4.17 to go. Good crowd on hand here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Filipinos living in the Lion City showing their support for the beer men today. So we've got the Slingers shooting 8 of 25 from the floor for 32%, 12 of 20 for the beer men, 60%. So right there, huge stat in favor of uh, San Miguel Beerman. Jennings, nowhere close to scoring there. Talava, they try and trap him on the side. Beerman and Gabe Freeman in the open floor and can't hit on the floater. So a wild start coming out of the timeout. Kabatu, spin move. In and out, but he earns a pair. With the Slingers down 11. Well, the Sing Slingers trying to do a lot of their offensive work on the fly. Get the rebound, one pass out, and uh, try and shake and bake when they get down. And Depending on who's in position those are the people who are going to get the ball but really nothing planned it just suspiciously seems like the Singapore Slingers don't have that many options off of their offense an argument Chuck from the San Miguel bench but it was Banchero who picked up the foul that's his second with 337 going in the second quarter third team foul of the quarter against the beer men Kabatu sinks both. <laughs> Banchiro matching up with Fulkov. Off the screen, back to Eric Mink. Beautiful 
Safely run, pick and roll by the San Miguel Beer Men. Yeah, they've been doing that all afternoon. I mean, just working some great stuff off of screens. Banchero liking what he's seen. Great job of coaching by the coaching staff. They have scouted the Singapore team exquisitely. Jennings. Double team on Jeffers down low. Kapatu for the jumper. That just beat the shot clock. I mean, and last touch by San Miguel. Yeah, I mean, lucky that time. It just seems like when Singapore gets the ball just around the horn, trying to find somebody down low, Jeffers is double teamed every single time. So the Beerman basically challenging the perimeter shooters from Singapore to stick a shot. And uh, right now, they're shooting 8 for 27, 30%. Even when they beat Saigon on Friday, the Slingers did not shoot a particularly high percentage, and they were abysmal from beyond the three-point line. Well, one of four tonight for Singapore. Screen Delay by Jeffers. from the top, and that was, I mean, really off balance by Don Dulay. Yeah, and these are wide open looks they're getting. Don Dulay rolled off the screen. Great screens thrown there by Jeffers, so he had a good look at the basket and really thumped that one. Almost throws that one away. 2.36 to play here in the first half. Jennings passes out of the double team. Fulkov and Dule too much. Jeffers doing Yeoman's duty to save it. Kabatu hits the jumper and the Slingers had to work extremely hard to pick up two points. Well, that's true and uh, Kabato uh, fortuitous getting that ball off the inbound save. Benchiro, little stutter step, drives the lane and thought he had Mink beside him. Kabato, pull up jumper and scores twice in a row down the floor. Yeah, from the elbow that time. So Kabatu with the hot hand for Singapore and Beerman are going to call a timeout. They've, they've lightened up on their defensive pressure just a little bit, giving the Slingers a little bit more room, and that's been enough to turn it around the last couple of possessions. Kabatu missing his first two shots, but coming alive here. You know, still you look at a 10 of 29, 34% for Singapore. Now that's at home. These are the sort of percentages we would expect on the road, Sean, but not in your own house. On the other side, the ball 14 to 23, a phenomenal 61% for the beer men on the road. They've hit two of their three three-point attempts. So they have it cooking on the offensive end. With that said, Slingers just down seven with a minute 52 to go in the first half. If you're just joining us, Slingers looking for their third consecutive win. The Beermen have dropped two straight coming into today's play. Well, I guess that's the good news for the uh, Slingers. You sort of alluded to it there, Sean. As badly as they're playing, as disconnected uh, as their offensive set looks, they're only down by seven, and uh, they are playing at home, so a lot of basketball still to play. And hopefully, at least for the Singapore Slingers' point of view, they can get their act together a little bit. But uh, you know, they're going to have to get some more options off their offense. Right now, it's just Jeffers, Jennings, and Prey. Leo Avenido comes back for the beer men out of the timeout. Mink. Avenido, corner three. Yes! Yeah. Singer's going to a 2-3 zone now, Sean. So we're skewing the man-to-man. -man. The wing on that uh, bottom three didn't come out enough to the perimeter, so Kabuto lighten that up. Hey, hey. Offensive foul. Delvin Go in the game, the youngest member of the Singapore Slingers, and does not get a great deal of playing time. Singapore staying in the 2 3. So let's see that they're going to have to guard the wings a lot better, perhaps even trap the wings. Let's see if they do that. They run Freeman on the baseline. He's still wide open. Oh, directs traffic. Avenido, same spot, different result. Jeffers clears glass. Don Duet against Freeman. The foul on Gabe Freeman, who thought he got all ball. 
And Don DeLay will go to the line. Yeah, well, he might have got all ball, but I thought I saw some body contact, too. It's not just the hands. A lot of times the fans are booing now. Watch it again. Now watch the body. Oh, yeah. That's a foul. I mean, every time they're going to call that. Fans sometimes get uh, excited and, and look at only the rejection of the ball without looking at the rest of the body, which incidentally is connected to the arms. <laughs> Excellent clarification, Chuck. Delay hits both. Slingers down eight with 56 seconds to go. Beermen take their final timeout of the second quarter. Slingers five of six from the free throw line. That's one reason that they are hanging around in this game despite shooting a very low percentage. Well, both teams doing a good job also of taking care of the ball. Slingers have four turnovers. The Beermen only two, two turnovers. Offensive board is really not a factor. Singapore slightly ahead in that category. Five to three. They both have a block and a couple of steals. So, uh, you know, you, you look at the shooting percentage, and that pretty much tells the whole story with the Beermen still shooting at 60% and the Slingers at 33%. And that is going to have to improve significantly for the Slingers to stay in this game in the second half and as well as the uh, rest of the first half. You know, if they can get the lead down to four or five points, that would be ideal for the Slingers. Give them a lot of impetus to come out in the second half and go, look, we played just about as badly as we could possibly play. We've got to do better in the second half, and uh, perhaps that will be enough for the Slingers to keep it real competitive in the second half. Rashad Jones Jennings, scoreless from the field. Well, I think he did have one put back on a miss by Jim by uh, Jeffers, but that's about it. Yeah, maybe that they have not credited him as Banchero hits from the elbow coming out of the Beermen timeout. So he is back up to 10. Yeah, running, running a screen off that 2-3, the, the, the top left-hand side of that 2-3 zone. Kabatu hitting two straight buckets for the Slingers. Jeffers splits the defenders and goes strong off the window. Good job off the dribble too. Tough move by Jeffers facing up to his defenders. Weak side help over there, but uh, got caught in between dribbles. Banchero had it knocked out of his hands. RJ Rosada recovers. Here's Rogers. Matt Rogers for the triple. Air ball, Avenido right there underneath. No one boxing out yeah. from the Slingers. Yeah, that has been the story of the first half. Slingers not doing a good job on the fundamentals, boxing out about as fundamental as you can get. So getting outshot and out-rebounded here in the first half. 38-28 after 20 minutes here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. And the San Miguel Beermen are halfway there to ending a two-game losing streak. A big first half for Chris Banchero. 19 points on eight of nine shooting. That is sensational for the San Miguel point guard. Yeah, Rogers, Matt Rogers coming as advertised, Sean, doing a great job from outside and picking it up on the defensive end as well, doing a fantastic job uh, with Kyle Jeffers in the low post. And let's send it over to Michelle Holland. Hi there, we're here with the head coach of the San Miguel Beermen, Coach Austria. Coach Austria, let's talk about Matt Rogers. As far as plan B goes, he's covering for Brian Williams. Are you pretty impressed with how he's playing? Yeah, uh, last game, uh, uh, our last game against Malaysia, uh, Brian Williams uh, was injured. And fortunately, we have Matt Rogers. It's supposed to be uh, he's going home, but uh, immediately uh, uh, we, uh, no, yeah, uh, we get him because... Uh, of course, we cannot play without an import, and he's available, so that's why he's here. But uh, he's here only for two weeks. Great, and um, you said before this game, the Slingers is a team that likes to run, so you've got to be on the lookout for that. You're now 10 points ahead. You feel you've counted that well? Well, uh, I think uh, uh, on their last three games, actually on their first game, I saw them play, and their main weapon is uh, uh, the running game. 
because of the presence of a lot of point guard and they forward uh, the ball right away once they got the defensive rebound and they have a lot of shooter so that's their game eh? so we have to contain them uh, their transition in order for us uh, to, uh, uh, to control the tempo of the game Sorry. and what are we likely to see in the second half well of course uh, we have to be consistent uh, our problem is to start uh, to contain uh, uh, there are no there's you there they have a lot of good shooters fortunately in this first half uh, uh, their point guard is not connecting yet but uh, their big man is slowly starting to get the ball in the safety area and we have to contain Jeffers and and Jennings and of course uh, the rebounding of Jennings uh, in, the, in his last few games is really good in rebounding especially on offensive rebound so we have to stop him you seem to be doing a pretty good job of containing Jeffers and Jennings right now thanks for joining us thank you Thank you, Michelle, and they are doing a good job of containment, and the beer men leading it on the road, 38-28. First half analysis when we return on Super Sports Arena. Jeffers into the lane. We welcome you back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium where we are at the half. The San Miguel Beermen leading the Singapore Slingers 38-28. And a big turnaround for the San Miguel Beermen. Chuck, you know, uh, losing two straight games coming into this one, but with the 
assertion of Matt Rogers, they have dominated the paint against Singapore through 20 minutes. Oh, absolutely. Rogers doing it all, throwing the screens down low, freeing other players up, rotating and curling up to the top where he creates space for himself, hitting the outside shot we said at the beginning of the game. That is a dimension to his game that uh, Williams actually couldn't give them. So he's able to pick and roll downstairs, get some easy looks, and also be on the arc too. And he's uh, he's having a very good game for himself. For the Singapore Slingers, most of their players struggling on the offensive end. Kyle Jeffers and Mitchell Folkoff becoming the focal points of the offense. And here we see Mitchell Folkoff on the defensive end. And then early on, yeah, he was tough. Uh, he had his first couple of shots, hustling, uh, hitting the floor a couple times as well. Rotation off the ball there and uh, sliding in between two defenders. Nice little bounce pass inside to Jennings. You know, Volkov uh, providing the impetus for the slingers as far as the hustle goes at the beginning of the game. Also, Kyle Jeffers with Rashad Jones Jennings yet to really get his shot going. It's been Jeffers penetrating inside with that hook shot. And he's really been the only you know, area of focus that San Miguel has had to contend with. Right, and, and what's happened is uh, every time he touches the ball, Kyle Jeffers, he draws two. Somebody's got to be open, but he hasn't really been able to find the open man as we look at what we're talking about here. There's Jeffers down low and uh, Jennings right next to him. But Jeffers uh, is able to get inside that time. And uh, there was that in-between dribble that the... Uh, Beerman could not catch up off, and that was pretty much towards the end of the first half. For the San Miguel Beermen, by contrast, doing pretty much exactly what they want on the offensive end. Penetration inside with Taulava, with Rogers, and then Chris Banchero, either dribble penetration or knocking down that outside shot. Yeah, doing a great job of penetrating, doing a great job in transition, and using that triumphant uh, of guys. They've got three guys, three big guys. We'll watch this right here. Banchero slowing up the ball like he should do. Good rotation on the ball. And you can see him take it easy, something will come open. Sliding through and look at that, right down the gut of the basketball uh, court and in the left-hand side, just sliding in there for the easy two. So again, shots falling down from outside for the San Miguel beer men. Matt Rogers, the six foot 11 player, hitting an early three ball. So all kinds of mismatches developing for the Slingers defensively. That's right, very good call there, Sean. And off the screens as well, the coaching staff of the Beermen doing an excellent job of rotating guys left and right and even popping up as Rogers. So, uh, so many options in uh, Singapore, very, very slow to adjust. Yeah, and a very different team they are facing on Friday. The Slingers beating the Saigon Heat, but that was a team that got into foul trouble. They do not have nearly the depth of San Miguel, and they could bring Gabe Freeman, which they did off the bench. Also, Eric Mank. So a lot of different looks San Miguel throwing at Singapore. That's right. And Freeman, remember, uh, he came off the bench. He's a guy that's averaging 20 points a game. Talaiva, that wide body in the middle, really Singapore doesn't have an answer for him. So you got one, two, three guys that you can rotate off the bench and uh, along with that great uh, guard play that we were talking about with Ranchero. And uh, again, there's just mismatches everywhere on the court that Singapore turns around and looks at. It all adds up to a 10-point lead for the San Miguel Beer Men when we return the third quarter. You're watching the ABL Live on Super Sports Arena.
We welcome you back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium, the third quarter just about set to go with the San Miguel Beermen leading the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers 38-28. When you look back, Chuck, at that first half, just two points for Rashad Jones Jennings. That is not nearly enough. And the Slingers down 10. That's right. Very shocking. I think he's got a lot of rebounds, seven or eight rebounds. We don't know that for sure because we don't have the stats in front of us. But, uh, you know, you got to hope that he's going to be in double figures every single game. He's going to have to be if the Slingers going to have a chance. Jennings, uh, uh, you know, he's one of the heart and souls of this team between him and Jeffers. Jeffers with nine points. Jennings with only two. And Folkoff has five. And those guys are the high scorers for the Slingers. And remember, Folkoff, Sean, he got all of his points in the first three or four minutes of the game. All right, so you're Neil Beng Siong, the head coach for the Singapore Slingers. Your team is shooting, you know, probably in the low 30%. Your number two scorer in Jennings has yet to get on track, yet you're only down 10. Right. Not bad. Well, that's what we said a little while ago. You made the point that they were only down by seven. That's dropped a little bit, but only 10. That is manageable. You've got to get Jennings with more touches in this basketball game and rotate the ball between Jeffers and him and hope that somebody from outside, maybe it's Wei Lim Wong, somebody from your guard position is going to have to start contributing to and knocking down some shots to create space for your guys inside. So we'll have to wait and see if that happens. Let's set it up for you. Mitchell Fulkoff, Don Dulay, Kyle Jeffers, Rashad Jones Jennings and JJ Kabatu begin the third for Singapore. Leo Avenido, Chris Banchero, Matt Rogers, Ossie Talaba, and RJ Rosada. RJ Rosada for the San Miguel Beermen. Another offensive board for Singapore. One of the few bright spots for the Slingers in that first half. And again, nobody moving on offense, nobody cutting, just sort of standing around. Shot out, Volkov for three. He glances off the front of the iron. So they get a quality look and nothing else. At the other end, Rogers can't control. Jeffers picks up the loose ball. Dulé, you've got Kabatu on the wing. Beerman doing a great job getting back in transition that time. Jeffers and looked up and there a plethora of red shirts streaking down the court. Jennings pushing it out and then right into the hands of Rosada. Two on one, Banchero back for Rosada. Too strong off the window and they come away with zip. Yeah, that's, uh, that's shocking. Layup missed on the other end. That was a gimme. Kabatu dribble drive and then the jumper. And Kabatu, who has a sweet stroke today. He certainly does. Just sort of glided through the lane that time, didn't he? Had it with the left hand, switches over to the right in midair. Kabatu has eight. Banchero for Talmava. An interesting battle against Kyle Jeffers. Rosada from the top. Nice interior defense that time by the Slingers. We got a whistle. No, not a whistle, excuse me. Cabado again, and he has a hot hand. Let's see if uh, he has a green light. Shot out to Jeffers. And Avenido controls the glass. Again with Jeffers on the perimeter, that only leaves one big man to control the glass for Singapore, and that's Jennings. He can't do it all by himself. Benchero looks for help. Avenido shoots outside now. Trying to cut in, Jennings falling down, gets it up to Folkov. Folkov against Banchero, knocked out, Slinger's ball, 19 seconds on the shot clock, Folkov wanted a foul. Yeah, well, Dulé was streaking up that right-hand side, but just about a step or two behind Folkov, really nobody to dish the ball off to, and the red uh, jerseys of Beerman converging on Folkov. Luckily, he gets bailed out by the foul. So Singapore by our count, uh, Sean, 12 of 32, 38% from the floor, 17 to 28, 61% for the beer men. RJ Kowaling takes over for Leo Avenido. Jeffers in for the jam. Getting the step on Rogers. No weak side help at all. Gets the swingers within six. Banchero swallowing through. That is a beautiful move from Chris Banchero. Certainly was. Momentum going one way. He has to take the ball up with his right hand, balance it somehow. Off the glass, up in a very, very high degree of difficulty. Banchero has 10. 
Rogers on Jeffers, saw it to be interesting. No double team. Skipping it to, then at the top, Dulé. Knocked right out, Don Dulé. Jeffers looking for the floater and gets it, plus the foul. Great job, and you can see the defense converging on Jeffers a little bit too late. You see Cowling not knowing what was going on. Look at it again. There comes a weak side help. A little bit late. Good little stretch for the Slingers here, Sean. So Jeffers into double figures and looking for more from the stripe. Talava, and he's trapped in the corner. Whipping it out to Koala, and it's a heads up play. Five on three. Slingers gambling. They get it down to Jeffers. And he has to wait for the troops to arrive. Better movement on offense now. Jennings draws a double team. He's going to have to go strong to the basket. Followed by Jeffers. Jennings' shot is so shallow that it's got to be right on the money. Meanwhile, as you say, Jeffers cleans up the slot and gets the Slingers back within six. Banchero, dribble penetration, and he will go to the line once more. Yeah, blocking foul by Falkoff. Talking about uh, Jennings again, I think Jennings is just going to have to force his way through some of these double teams, Sean. If he can just get a little bit of penetration, we talk about the shallowness of his shot. If he's drawing the double team, then this means Jeffers is going to have to follow on the opposite side, and Jennings can look for the easy dump off, just like he did before with uh, with Jeffers. They can't double team both of them. Chris Banchero, a native of Washington State, has Filipino citizenship. That comes out. It was not touched by Jennings. So Banchero stays on 10. Delay stepped back for the three. That's Jennings not rolling. Excuse me, Sean. Jennings needs to roll off the screen. Banchero with the score and the hack. Great. So an and one for Chris Banchero. Yeah, great play by Banchero coming up, uh, trailing the play, getting the return pass, and you can see desperation time for the Slingers as they try to close up the lane a little bit too late. Banchero able to bust it through. Talking about the other end, you can see how passive Jennings is. Uh, when he rolls off the screens, he doesn't even go towards the basket. He's going to have to be more active to get himself involved into the offense. Banchero completes the three-point play to make it 45-36. Beermet. Long way long. Has it stripped. Kowaling. Banchero shoveling it back and Kowaling with the finish. Beermet smooth in transition. Yeah, great job by Banchero. They had some telepathy going that side on the left-hand side. The ball, they had a two-on-one going. Return pass just the way it should be played. 5.24 to go in the third quarter. We'll take a break. Beermen on a roll, leading the Slingers 47-36. Fans taking in the action here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium where the San Miguel Beermen lead 
the jobstreet.com, Singapore Slingers, 47-36, 5.24 to go in the third quarter. Long way long, Desmond O oh, now in the backcourt for the Slingers. Talaba looking to pick up Volkov, hustles back to cover Jennings. Here's Wong Wei Long for three. That is the offense they needed from Wong Wei Long all game long. Well, we talked about the need for the guards to uh, create space by knocking down some shots from the outside. They're gonna need more of that. All the work the Slingers did to get the lead down to six, bumped up right back to 11, and now eight. So let's see if they can capitalize. Another rebound for Jennings. Off the long three-point miss from Rogers. Skip pass, Jeffers inside and he is stripped cleanly. Slingers will have it with 16 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, nice job by Rogers. Again, uh, probably no reason for Jeffers to put the ball on the floor that close to the basket. All he had to do is just take a couple head fakes, put it back up. He didn't do that. Rogers strips him. Rogers coming out of the game, replaced by Gabe Freeman. Two defenders collapse on Jeffers. Talava and Jennings going at it. I think Talava's going to get whistled for that. He was fronting Jennings. And the pass came over the top. Both Freeman and Talava have given uh, Jennings fits during this game. Both teams with two team fouls. Now Talaba working on Jeffers, who throws the screen. Long way long, puts it up, and three-pointer is short. Freeman shoveling. They swing it back outside. Banchero has space. And a foul off the ball. Gabe Freeman, oh! And I'm not sure who is down on the floor, but Desmond O. Oh, well, just getting, his words with Freeman. Yeah, just getting a little bit wrapped up. You watch it again. There's a push off right there. That could have been a foul on Freeman. No need for that. And then. Yeah, and you can see Desmond O trying to retaliate a little bit. Not a good idea when you're on the floor. And now look at midcourt. Everyone arguing. But from the replay there. Well, cooler heads prevail and, and Talava. The referee smartly calling for a timeout, an official timeout. Let, uh, let it, let's get a little bit cool here. The uh, security people come out on the floor as well. But let's go back. On the initial contact, that looked like it should have been a foul on Gabe Freeman, the oh. way he took Desmond O to the floor. Absolutely. Just a quick, you know, a shoulder block. And, you know, Desmond O about half his size. I mean, that's beside the point. A foul is a foul. Wouldn't matter if it was Shaquille O'Neal there, but definitely a foul. Watch it again. Yeah, that's too much. Now, Desmond O getting his feet tangled up a little bit with Freeman, but Freeman basically, for good measure, decides he's going to stomp on him a little bit. So the referee's strangely absent uh, during that altercation. And, you know, when you don't call the initial foul and you're not strong with your calls right away, it leads to uh, bad feelings, and that's exactly what happened there. Okay, so the officials explaining it to Neo Beng Xiong. This comes with 4.14 to go in the third. And the Beermen leading the Slingers 47-39. By the way, here in the uh, second half. And, and, and now really they're, 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 they're back out there in the middle. And yeah. Freeman and Jeffers now continuing to jaw. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, Jeffers was right there. He saw the whole thing and he's going, hey man, you got a guy about five foot ten. I don't see you pushing me around that way. And Freeman saying, "Okay, let's get it on here." So uh, they're going to have to cool it down. And I think that's what players are telling them right now. You know, just just forget it. Put it in the rearview mirror. We got a game to play. But uh, you know, Jeffries has been here for a few years. He uh, feels a kinship towards these players that he has been around. So the official call is each team assessed a foul, both Freeman and O. Beermen to inbound. 
leading by eight. Well, lost in the shuffle here. Slinger's playing much better offensively there now by my count. 16 of 36, 44 percent. Beerman shooting the lights out tonight. 22 of 33, 67 percent. A lot of those in transition, of course, knocked away by O. So 13 seconds on the shot clock. To lava for Freeman, who is at the center of the fracas. Freeman driving, wild hook shot, and the easy putback by Talava. Now Talava, no boxing out again by Singapore. Easy putback. Again, highlighting the uh, mismatches all around the court that the beer men enjoy. Desmond O, dribble penetration, runs into a wall. And the foul on RJ Kowali. Rico Kowali, rather. Yeah, you can see Freeman coming over there to uh, apply the weak side help, and I think it's pretty much forgotten now. Freeman uh, and O uh, avoiding each other's eyes, at least on that particular exchange. Oh. Yeah. Now a whistle. And it was Kyle Jeffers and Freeman bumping each other. The official trying to settle them down. No foul called. Full cough. Oh, at the top. Long way long. Spin move. Backs Three on the shot clock. And throws it up. And that's a shot clock violation. That was flypaper defense by Chris yeah, Banchero. I mean, uh, uh, abysmal offensive uh, set there by Singapore. No movement on the inside. Nobody cutting. Nobody throwing screens. And uh, you're going to get in positions like that if you don't move around. You've got to move the defense. Offensive uh, battle. Yeah, that was smartly done by Desmond O. Uh, that, that was a good call. That is on Rico Kowaling. Look at it again. Easy call, probably the easiest call tonight the officials will have. Again, understandably, the fans uh, in the corner of their San Miguel Beerman team, but uh, logically looking at it. 15 foul on the Beerman with 3.15 to go in the third. Jeffers gives to Longway Law. Puts up the three ball. Jeffers right there and then going over the back, Gabe Freeman. And Jeffers right in the face of Gabe Freeman. Yeah. Freeman's going to be called for the foul. Well, Freeman was all over the back of him. And uh, Jeffers has got to let it go. He's got to let it go and play the game. The Slingers are in this game. It's a 10-point game with three minutes to go in the third quarter, a lot to go in the fourth quarter, and Freeman playing to the crowd now. One more look. Freeman definitely going over the top. Yeah. No question on the foul, but what came afterwards, words were exchanged between Jeffers and Freeman. Well, you know, the fact that there are so many Philippine supporters uh, at this <laughs> game, obviously not lost on Freeman, and he's using it to his advantage right now. The talking continues at the free throw line. Now Freeman is going, it looks like Freeman is going to come out of the game. I don't know if he's going to come out as much as they're just trying to separate him from the players and uh, it's going to be a technical foul, so two shots by Jeffers and the ball. And I would say, Sean, this crowd about 70-30. Yeah. 70-30 beer men. <laughs> Kyle Jeffers <laughs> pointing to the beer men fans. And this is getting spicy. Of now they had Eric Mink up off the bench. And for a moment, it looked like he was going to check into the game. 
presumably to replace Freeman. Now there was a, a foul assessed to the Slingers. And that's by Leo Avenido on his shooting free throws. Well, a real tip for tat sort of game going on right now. And, uh, you know, lost in translation, I guess. It's just this has the potential to be a very, very good game. It's only a nine-point game. Tons of time left. And, uh, you know, if you're the Singapore Slinger, you're sitting here and you're seeing 70% of the fans against you. If that doesn't drive you uh, to the pinnacle of your game, so to speak, then nothing will. Beerman with the ball, leading 51-40. Gabe Freeman. Loose ball, Desmond O. And that going off the foot of O. And Chiro gets his motor started. Crossover. And the foul on Long way long. Yeah, pretty much an isolation play that time for the Beerman. Everybody's staying around watching uh, Banchiro work on Wong Lei Wong and uh, taking him to the cleaners, turning him inside out. Nothing Wong can do but foul in that situation. So Banchiro to the line. Yes, with the slingers over the limit. 2.34 to go in the third. Banchiro has 12 points. Singers need more movement on top ends here. Jennings being fronted by Talava. Jeffers looking to hit him, and then Wong, three ball. And the foul is on Chris Banchiro, so one way long will get three from the line. Yeah, that's a horrible foul by Banchiro. There was a... Uh, not much of a chance of that ball going in from the get-go and the coaching staff letting Banchero know about it right now. They are livid with him. And you know, Chuck, at the beginning of this game, you mentioned how Chris Banchero will have to watch the fouls. He just picked up his third with 2.17 to go in the third quarter. And I'll correct myself, Chris Banchero, in fact, has 15 points. Well, such a big drop-off after him. We talked about that. And again, Singapore working so hard at the beginning of the third quarter. They got the lead down to six. Now it ballooned back up to 12, even 13 again. Now down to 11. But uh, at some point in time, Singapore is going to have to be more consistent. Jennings, a rebound off the missed free throw. He puts it up, and he's going to the line, and I believe the foul is on Freeman. But Jennings needs to be more aggressive when he gets the ball down there. We've seen him shy away from contact a little bit too often. Even though he is double teamed, watch it again. You see him hesitate, just go strong to the rack. Don't play around, double pump fake, double pump fake. Just get it up to the rack, and uh, they'll foul you. Jennings missed the first of two. Dear, dear, dear. He is struggling this season from the free throw yeah, line. Just not having a good game today at all. Not being aggressive the, on the offensive end. Rubbing off on his free throw shooting. Banchero hits the deck. Talava kick out, Avenido down underneath, Freeman. What a foul call, here's Jeffers. Full cough, yeah, finger Jen roll, and that's snatched by Freeman. Beerman ball. Jennings looks gassed, the last guy down the floor, the referee trying to pick himself off the floor. 
out the other end, too. He's got a wet spot there. But uh, Jennings uh, very, very slow getting down the court, shaking his head. He's just out of sync right now. Might be a good idea to give him a blow for a little bit, just let him think it over. There's only a minute 40 left in the third quarter. He's spent fourth at this point anyway. Let him come back fresh for the last 10. Freeman canters up the floor. Ben Chiro, dribble drive, blocked by Jeffers. And again, Banchero picking on Jennings, going straight around a weak side help by, look at this, right around Jennings. We talked about him being out there with a little bit gassed, and uh, lucky for him, Jeffers coming over and applying the weak side help for the block. Talava looking to go to the rack, does, and scores. Again, Jennings not able to slide over. They're really using him right now, going straight at him. Jennings feeds Volkov. Kabatu for three. And that weapon has been all but absent today for the Slingers. Talava, loose ball, Banchero recovers. Nice hustle there by Kyle. And Banchero slips and ooh, he is hurt. Yeah, he, is. He, he split his legs. Yeah, that could be a groin right there. You hate to see that. That's awful. Watch the legs come out. My good, oh boy, that is badly twisted. That's painful to watch. Let's see. Well, he appears to be okay. As when I looked at it, I was going, oh, there's a pulled groin. Let's see if they get him out of there for the last 43 seconds. They really don't need to be taking any chances with him. He is quality. And you're right. The ball day will come in with the Beerman up 13 and 43.3 seconds left in the third. Talava puts it on the floor. Dumps Leo Avenido. A wild shot. The yeah. San Miguel Beerman. With 35 seconds left, lead at 55-42. Jennings, uh, or check that, Jeff or something apparently wrong with him as well. He's he wincing as he comes up the court. Doesn't seem to have the mobility that he had a couple of minutes ago, so let's Wong see what's wrong with him. Terrible shot by Wong Wei Long. Beerman take over, everyone falling now. Uh, Jennings isn't right either, so Jeffers and Jennings suffering out there. Gabe Freeman looking to create. One way long. And that brings the third quarter to a close. The Slingers in desperate need of offense. Trail the San Miguel Beermen 55-42. Too much depth from San Miguel through three quarters. The fourth when we return on Super Sports Arena.
Sean Farquhar, Chuck Schreiner, and Michelle Holland pleased to be part of Super Sports Arena's live coverage of the 2013 ABL. Fourth quarter set to go here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. The San Miguel Beermen on the road looking to end a two-game losing streak lead the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers 55-42. Chuck, you and I thought that perhaps Rashad Jones Jennings was done for the day, but he comes out to begin the fourth quarter. Yeah, probably even more worrying for the Slingers is limping around out there was Kyle Jeffers. And uh, remember, the Slingers had a tough game on the road against Saigon on Friday, being asked to play again here on Sunday. Apparently taking the toll on them. So let's see if they can marshal their strength here in the fourth. Meanwhile, San Miguel playing very well at both ends of the floor, shooting a high percentage through three quarters. Paula Habalde beginning the fourth. Chris Banchero may have suffered a thigh injury when he slipped late in the third, so he starts the fourth on the bench. So Singapore going back into a 2-3 zone again, trying to take some pressure off their big men. One who looks like he's gassed, and the other one looks like he's sporting some sort of an injury. Habalde, and the foul is on Don Dulé. Beerman, Sean, last played eight days ago, so fresh legs out there, and playing for all practical purposes in front of a hometown crowd as well here at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Able to rest some of their starters due to that big 13-point lead. Little runner in the lane as well. Yeah, that's too strong from Avenido. So the Slingers will set up in the half court here to begin the four. Jennings out high with Kabatu. Rogers back into the game, yep. running Jennings. Jennings, left-handed hook shot. No good. And Jeffers still hobbling. Benito with Don Dulé on him. Rogers comes across the lane. Mink with the rebound. Too strong on the glass. Jennings continues to pile up the rebounds, but they love for him to start getting more points. Slingers with plenty of opportunities today, Chuck, but just having cashed in. Don Dulé, who really should abandon the three-point shot yeah, at this stage. I say, it's just not working for him offensively. Mink Look at that. on the shovel from Freeman. More transition baskets from the Beermen. They have just run the Slingers off the floor today. Exactly, and you can see the tongues hanging out on the Singapore Slingers, especially their bigs, the guys that they need to uh, come up for them big time in the last quarter. They just don't seem to have their legs. Full cough, and they blow up the pick and roll. Well done by Hupalde. And J.J. Kabatu with the open floor foul. Yeah, and uh, lucky they did because uh, the Beermen had a three on one going for him. So you're looking at a team, the Beermen right now, Sean, playing with extreme confidence and a team on the other side that looks beat up. Because we have going to the bench, Falkoff. Beerman pushing the lead out to 15. You can see as this game starts to wind down a little bit, uh, the Beerman taking their time, a steal right there. The back the other way, and you can see one, two, three, Singapore Slingers trailing the play. Kyle Jeffers, one bounce, drawing contact, and will go to the line. Singapore with an excellent opportunity there to get something in transition, but uh, the guy with the ball looks around him, number 11, Don Dulé, and there's nobody in front of him, three guys behind him. Well, we wondered how much fatigue would be a factor. The Slingers did get a day in between games with the Saigon Heat, which is just a short flight from Singapore. But again, they, they didn't arrive until last night, so they've hardly had any time to recover. Jeffers hits both. 57-44, 7.52 to play. So full court press being implied, uh, employed here by a very, very tired Singapore Slingers team. Matt, go middle, Matt. Matt, go middle. Kabatu tapping that out. Go. Hey, hey. 
away. Back on Banchero. Banchero changing wow. speeds. Loose ball. No, 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 no. Beerman going one and out now, each time down the floor. Desmond O. Avenito giving him room. Peppers with Rogers on him. Calls a double team. Loose ball, saved by Freeman. Mink down underneath, and credit Banchero to spot the cutting Eric Mink. Yeah, nice little head fake there. Both Jeffers and Jennings going for it. Mink, uh, still a lot of gas in the tank for a guy that's been around for a while. One time you said, Sean, uh, he was going to be the future of Philippine basketball. It didn't quite work out that way, but uh, he's had himself a fine career in the Philippines anyway. A uh, native of Michigan and a former PBA MVP. Now probably on the downhill side of his career. Well, I know he had aspirations of playing in the U.S. or Europe <laughs> at one point. Two makes for Mink, 59-44. Beerman's still in a man-to-man. -man. Oh, Banchero taking it away from Don Dulé. Comes off the rip. So Banchero unable to finish. Kabatu at the open three. Banchero reaches in and snatches that away. Yeah, he's everywhere. Singapore guards can't play with him. They're not even on the same level. Freeman, as Desmond O goes down, Matt Rogers fouled, and Rogers set to go to the line. Well, the second half it started uh, with a lot of promise for Singapore, as we said, cut the lead to six points, and now balloon back up to 15. In the absence of the big scorers for Singapore, both Jennings and. Kyle Jeffers down the stretch hasn't helped her cause any. Matt Rogers was part of the San Miguel Coffee roster in the PBA. Now a beer man trading a stimulant for a relaxant. Jeffers again wincing as he pulls down that board there. I don't know if it's his ankle or it's his knee, but uh, he's running on fumes out there, as is Jennings. Banchero with the foul. Check that, Gabe Freeman with that foul. is done for the afternoon. Now, Kyle Jeffers is talking to Gabe Freeman. And... Well, the crowd just saw that. I mean, Jeffers... And Freeman, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but uh, they need to leave it till after the game. I understand Jeffers is very frustrated, but uh, save that energy for after the game. You want to talk to somebody, then uh, talk to them before they get on the bus, not right. not on the court. Jeffers' pressing problem is his team is down 16. Right. Wong. Jeffers rocks the rim. Got a little bit of space, but the absence of Freeman in there. That's a better way to take out your frustration. Rogers nowhere in sight. He's down at the other end. Banchero crossover, trying to force one in there. Loose ball. Jennings out of the rugby scrum. Blocked by Rogers. That's a live ball. Wow, everyone diving for it. Yeah, you got you got to love the enthusiasm of the beer men. They came here to play, and they're getting spurred on by this orgasmic crowd here at the indoor stadium that uh, are cheering everything that they do, right or wrong. And Jeffers, in the meantime, having words with Desmond O. Oh. Wu Ching Di, number seven, coming into the game for the Singapore Slingers. Long for O. 
Jeffers getting the double team. Somebody's got to be open. Wong with nine seconds on the shot clock. O drives, has nowhere to run, and Slingers will have the ball with five seconds on the shot clock. Well, got it bailed out there, threw the ball at the feet of Wu Chin Day. What the heck is he supposed to do with it? Whistle, off the ball. Well, still showing five on the shot clock. In fact, it's gonna go up to 24 now off the foul. So fresh 24, they're gonna say 14 now for the Slingers off of the foul. So they've added 10 onto the shot clock. This is Wu. Wu, baseline drive, lost the handle. So here's the pattern. Very little luck with dribble penetration today. Yeah, there was nobody at the spot that he passed to. I thought he, he thought somebody was going to be there. There was nobody. Rogers down Broadway, uh -oh. off the glass, and no basket. The offensive foul. They're going to say. Call could have gone either way. It was very marginal. Look at it again. I doubt that his feet were set. I think the referees missed that. So O sells one to the officials. Slinger's still down 60-46. Well, you look around, Sean, the talent on this beer man team and uh, pretty impressive stuff. Leo Austria, I think, unhappy with the offensive foul call. Wong stops. Hey! Can't connect on the three. And that'll be Slinger's ball as R.J. Rosada sends it out of bounds. Yeah, Jennings a lot more aggressive on that particular possession. It's a very small Beerman lineup on the floor. Well, they're looking at ball control at the moment. That's the most important thing for them. Just hang on for another five minutes. And Desmond o trying to come through a screen. Jeffers from outside. Tap out and it'll be beer men ball. Yeah, good call by the referee coming over the back that time. Okay. So timeout now by Singapore. And I don't know what you're going to talk about. They're getting beat to every loose ball. They just have not done, been in sync throughout today, uh, Sean. A, stru a struggle on offense for Singapore. We'll take a break and get you back to the indoor stadium in a moment. Over on the San Miguel bench, the, the beer men with a win today would go to four and three and would move into second place in the ABL standings, a half game ahead of these Singapore Slingers whose offense here in the fourth quarter has amounted to Kyle Jeffers, Chuck, and not much else. Nothing else. And Jeffers uh, playing basically on one leg now. Look at him uh, limp around. You know, they, they'd get him out if they had a better alternative, but the truth is probably Jeffers is better on one leg than what they've got on the bench with two. Banchero runs into traffic. The dump inside, Mink shot out. Open three ball. And Jeffers controls. Wong, who has 
three-point range gives it to O. Better movement by Singapore on their offensive set this time. At least they're cutting guys towards the basket. Jeffers, three seconds to shoot. Fade away with a hand in his face. Uh, Jeffers having to take the ball from outside. That, that shouldn't be. He's more effective at the uh, high post, but the uh, guards from the slinger is just very ineffective all day long. Kowali. forcing the issue. Into the middle. Wong hits the cutting Jennings. And two beer men collide with one another, Mink and Rogers. Crash in the lane as we see it here. Yeah, both going towards Jennings, and I think it was Rogers that got to him first. So Jennings will go to the line for a pair, and my goodness, how ineffective has he been today after a sensational game uh, against Saigon the other night where he had 29 points and 21 boards. He just seems like a spent force today. Very tough to play with not much of a turnaround, especially with the travel involved well as well. Uh, even though Saigon not that far away from Singapore, it's still... Now they initially had Game Freeman fouling out of the game, but now he is back onto the floor. So they double check and it's four fouls on Freeman. Well, the big four for the Beermen today, Talava, Rogers, Freeman, and Banchero have been too much for any five uh, Singapore slingers. Is, now, uh, a whistle, and I think they're saying Matt Rogers with a lane violation. That lead uh, by the Beermen has hovered around 11 to 15 points for almost the entire second half, except for the first few minutes of the third quarter. Boy, Jennings has such a hitch in his free throw shooting. It's a wonder it ever goes in. Long way long for O, oh, now Jeffers. Long down the middle, show and go move. And can't get it to go. Trap at mid-court. Freeman backing it out. Obviously, Beermen want to burn some clock. Freeman for three. Green three. Yeah, that's the dagger right there. And uh, unfortunately for the Singapore uh, slingers, it had to come from that guy right there who's just been a finger in the eye, so to speak, of the slingers this entire second half, hot dogging it a little bit. He needs to remember it's a long season, but uh, he did the big shot there, no doubt about it. San Miguel Beermen will next host the Westport Malaysia Dragons at Anara Sports Arena on Sunday, March 2nd. The Singapore Slingers will get a two-week break before meeting the same. Malaysia Dragons on Sunday, March 10th. That game at Maba Stadium in Kuala Lumpur. You know, Sean, the Slingers had 28 points at halftime. Now they've got 47, so this means the entire second half they have scored 19 points. Talk about futility in offense. Singapore Slingers, that is a definition. You can look it up. It has been a struggle for them on the offensive end. I mean, that's hard to do. <laughs> that you're, you're, you're averaging less than nine, but you're, you're averaging less than double digits per quarter. Yep, an unsightly score line. We'll greet the Slingers after this game. Long way long for Mitchell Fulkoff, who's cooled off considerably from his performance on Friday night. Tall over, all over Jennings. Hook shot, and finally goes. And it deserted him earlier in this game. That makes it 63-49 with 2.23 to play. 
Jones had two points at the end of the half. Benchero crossover, spin move. No, no, no. And Matt Rogers wasn't ready for it. As we know, blocked. Wow, Rogers, so fast for a big man. Well, Rogers too busy hot dogging. If he would have paid attention after the block, he could have also gotten possession of the ball. He didn't. He preferred to wag his finger around, and uh, that cost the Beerman a possession right there. Great block. But you've got to know where the ball is after that, too. Nice play by Freeman to try and save it. Slinger's ball. An even two minutes left. Long along the baseline, tries to reverse. Jennings underneath, a little triple pump. Nice job by Jennings. You know, knowing you're going to get hit, that takes some courage. Talala and Rogers both there boxing men, but he goes up for the shot anyway. Check it out again. Double pump fake, triple pump fake. He has such long arms. It's like earth moving equipment. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, just has not had his A game today, that's for sure. Take a close look. When he releases the ball, there's the slightest hesitation before he lets go, and that really throws things off. Freeman high above the rim that time to yank down the board. Got to be very impressed with Banchero. I mean, I've only done a few games uh, this year, Sean, but to me, he's the uh, class of the point guards that I've seen. Definitely an MVP candidate. Matt Rogers unable to reverse. The Beermen will have it with a minute 23. Doesn't really feel comfortable going on that side with reverse. He's much more comfortable going left to right than right to left. That was evidence right there. Long out on Banchero, who's really in no rush, with the issue already decided here. That well, gives him a chance to show off his crossover. Talava looking to dump down low. Rogers for a tap back. Nice job by Rogers to stay with it. Ball came off fortuitously right in the path of his right hand. He just dumps it right back in. Easy two for him, under a minute to play. Jennings banging. A trio of defenders around him. Jeffers, hook shot, and a little up and under move from Rashad Jones Jennings. Yeah, so 35. The yeah, the beer men take a timeout with 35 and a half seconds left. Up 65-52. We can't say enough about the three bigs for the Beermen tonight, Sean. Talava, Rogers, and Freeman. I mean, they have they have done everything that's been asked of controlling the action underneath. And you know, going back to the half court set, it's not just in transition that the Beermen have dominated. They've also dominated with options off their offense. And I think when you've got three bigs and you can use them interchangeably, that really gives you a huge advantage over your uh, rival. Singapore, to their point, again, Sean, every time I've seen them, their guard play has really, really come up one. Yeah, the beer men have shot so well through four quarters of play. Both down low and from beyond the arc. Everything has worked for the beer men today and limiting here the Singlers to 52 points on their home floor. You know, a lot of those points the Singlers have got, they were 47 a couple of minutes ago. So 52 points when you're 28 in the first half. Uh, that's really saying something for the lockdown defense that the beer men have provided here. And, and again, an away game. Yes. Foul on Jeffers out at midcourt. 
Of course, this all coming with the game already salted away. Well, I think it was you, Sean, that wrote uh, in your man in court uh, column that the importance of having a guard in this league, a, a good quality guard, and I think it's very accentuated to that point you were making in print today. I mean, you could use this as a case study. Yeah, Chris Banchero certainly having another excellent game. The beer man have very good to excellent guard play, and the slingers have poor guard play. Tough to see how the slingers can hang if, if they don't remedy the situation. It's a long season. They do have time. Chris Lawan's on. Comes in in garbage time. As does Michael Bergster. There is Bergster, born in Switzerland. Well, the newlywed Damian Go checking into the game now, number three. That will delight the wedding party that is in the stands here at the indoor stadium. There is Go passing, hook shot. Luan's on. And knocked out by Luan's on. So the Slingers will get it with 14.9 seconds left. Jeffers conceding nothing, Chuck. No. Uh, you know, Kyle uh, hustles. He's one of these guys that is going to play the whole 40 minutes. And a lot of times he is called to play all 40 minutes. And an utterly pointless timeout taken with 14.9 seconds left. You can watch every game in the ABL this season, live on the web stream at youtube.com slash ABL. And for all the information on the ASEAN Basketball League, check out the website, ASEANBasketballLeague.com. You can also like the ABL on Facebook. And finally, follow the league on Twitter at ABL News. Next game with regional coverage comes your way on Fox Sports Asia. This coming Friday, the Saigon Heat hosts the Chang Thailand Slammers at a raucous Tan Bin Stadium. Jennings from the free throw line. Three ball is good for Wong Wei Long, and it comes much too late. Uh, where was that shot about eight minutes ago when it might have made a difference? Beerman turning it over with 3.5 seconds left. The newlywed. Damien Go gets it out to Fulkoff. And that'll do it. The San Miguel Beer Men go on the road to beat the JobStreet.com Singapore Slingers 66 55, ending a two game losing streak. The Beer Men now four and three and the Singapore Slingers will go to an even four and four. An 11 point game, Chuck, but really it was not that close. Yeah, I mean, I, to my mind, the game was decided uh, after about five or six minutes gone in the third quarter. And I uh, can't say enough about the guard play of, of the Beermen behind Banchero. The big guys, Taluva, Rogers, and Freeman paving the way, doing everything defensively and offensively that they need to do to shut down a really impotent Singapore offense on a day where they just look a little bit fatigued, to be honest. We'll take a break and come back and recap. Beermen beat the Slingers 66-55. You're watching the ABL on Super Sports Arena.
here at the indoor stadium where the San Miguel beer men have just knocked off the Singapore Slingers 66-55. And Chuck, they did it on the offensive end, both inside and from outside. Everything clicking for Leo Austria's team today. Oh, absolutely. Ben Chara was just magnificent running the offense uh, for the beer men and also Taluva, Rogers, and Freeman. Rogers, remember, stepping in for Williams, doing a heck of a job. I really liked him on the defensive end even more than the offensive end. He certainly was a presence down low. Leo Austria saying before this game he had been disappointed with the way the beer men were playing. He must be pleased with the way this one has gone. He's standing by with our Michelle Holland. Thank you, Sean. Yes, here with Coach Austria. And let's ask him that question. Coach, are you pleased with how today went? Hola, por supuesto. I would like to thank uh, the players. They didn't give up you know, uh, until the last minute. You know. I told them that you have to be smart and you have to be tough because we're on the road and we're lucky. Uh, uh, Singaporeans uh, came from a game in Vietnam and I think they are tired and were able to contain uh, their transition opens. But uh, we have to, uh, uh, to do, uh, next time we have to do uh, uh, how to stop uh, their big man, especially Jeffers and uh, no, uh, Jennings. But I think uh, they are a little bit tired. Uh, no. We have to double it because uh, I know uh, they are very uh, powerful uh, underneath. But uh, this afternoon uh, we were able uh, uh, to reduce their uh, no, production. Maybe they, they are tired. Okay, can you talk to us for a minute about uh, Chris Banchero? He's your our player of the game today. He seemed like he had a pretty good day today. I'm happy to see him playing in the last three games because he's so focused and, he's and he was able to do what I want him to do. And he's the point guard. I told him uh, he's the director of the team. Once he directs the team, so we will have a good result. Great. And let's look forward to your next game against the Westport Malaysia Dragons, a team you lost to just about eight days ago. What are you going to take with you to that game? Well, I think, uh, uh, first of all, you know, uh, so we have a disappointing game uh, against them you know, uh, in Malaysia. So we're, we're leading all the way, but uh, all of a sudden, uh, in the closing, you know, uh, we lost. And maybe you know, because of the change of their import, we're not able to scout their import. and. And there another local player uh, from the Philippines, a Pilam, is a good player. So I think that's the main reason. But uh, uh, credit to Malaysia because they were able to get a, a good point guard. And that's uh, what they're lacking. Eh. Great. Thanks very much for joining us, Coach Austria. Congratulations. Michelle, thank you. There you see Chris Banchero. The Filipino fans here at the indoor stadium love Chris Banchero, who's certainly very photogenic. And, you know, Leo Austria was talking about the importance of Banchero directing the team. And that is exactly what he did when he wasn't passing, dribble penetration, creating openings for his teammates. Yeah, I, most good offenses work from inside out, but you got to have the good guard play to allow that to happen. That's exactly what happened today. He directed traffic both in transition and in the half-court play. I was very, very impressed in, in, with the beer men on their half-court play. He was able to direct things around. They ran their triangles right with their big men. They passed the ball. Everybody got a touch. Everybody was satisfied. It was a total team victory for the beer men today. For the Singapore Slingers, by contrast, they struggled to find any sort of offensive flow. Neil Bing Siong was worried that this might happen against the San Miguel beer men, and it did come to fruition. He's standing by with Michelle. Thank you, Sean. Yes, here with Coach Neo. Coach, what went wrong today? Well, I mean, the, our shooting percentage is bad. That's why, I mean, the defenders collapse on our two big. Then we struggle on, the, uh, on our offense. Right, okay. Um, looking forward, your, uh, your next game again is against the Westport Malaysia Dragons. Uh, you've got a little bit of a rest period between now and then. What are you going to focus on? Well, I mean, uh, we got about 10 days break. We need to get ourselves a couple of rest and uh, get back strong. To uh, means to play against uh, Westport Dragons, especially away, uh, they are strong, and uh, we need to really focus and be mental prepared and mental strong. Coming into today's game, you've played three games in one week. Do you think fatigue and the team tired did it have anything to do with today's loss? Yeah, well, definitely. But this is not an excuse. I mean, we flew back uh, yesterday at around seven, and we a uh, couple less than uh, twelve hour rest, and we get back into our this game. It's tough for us, but. We have to live with it. Again, Coach, thanks very much for joining us. And it's a disconsolate Rashad Jones Jennings, Chuck, sitting over 
on the Slinger's bench. Probably disappointed in the way his team has played and certainly the individual performance was not there for Jennings today. Well, I, I think the coach uh, said it perfectly. You know, they play three games in a week and I don't care what league you're in. That is a very, very tall order. Saying that, the problems that we have seen perpetually with the Slingers is their options on their offense, Sean. You talk about Kyle Jeffers, you talk about Rashad Jennings. Then after that, what? And it is a very, very short offensive uh, attack for the Slingers when they can't count on their guards to come through consistently. And I think that is bitten them time and time again this season. And it will happen again until they remedy the situation. Right. Inconsistent performances from J.J. Kabatu, Wang Wei Long, Mitchell Fulkoff, Don Dulé. You can go right down the line. And yes, everything needs to be working for the Slingers on offense for them to win. Meanwhile, Chris Banchero, a sensational afternoon here at the indoor stadium. Michelle Holland is with him. Thank you, yeah, here with Chris Banchero, the player of the game. Chris, congratulations. What do you make of your performance today? Oh man, we, we really needed this win today. Uh, we're three and three, now we're four and three. We knew we had to come out and play hard. So we came out all the way through the game. We played good defense. We all played hard and we all played together. So it was good. Now, you really did manage to contain Jones, Jennings, and Jeffers. Was that the plan? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's always the plan to take care of the imports because uh, the, we, uh, each team has two imports, so they kind of cancel each other out. So it was the locals that came to play today, and we all played well. I thought Matt Rogers did a great, great job today for his first game, and we really needed this win, and he stepped up and played well. Looked like a really tough physical game, really, really fast. Talk us through that. I mean, we knew it was going to be physical. Both, both teams play hard, and we knew that it was going to be all out, you know what I mean? So we just we played good defense, and we rebounded hard, and we wanted this win bad. We needed this one. Great game, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. 16 points, 4 assists, and 4 steals for Chris Banchiro. Asi Talava getting mobbed by the Filipino fans. We'll step away and return to the indoor stadium straight ahead. Welcome back to the indoor stadium. The Pinoy fans here getting a rare chance to get their picture taken with some of the stars of Philippines basketball, including Asi Taulaba. All this coming on the heels of a 66-55 win for the San Miguel Beermen over the Singapore Slingers. Beermen going to four and three. The Slingers now an even four and four. Chris Banchero really propelling the San Miguel Beermen today, Chuck with 16 points and 
he did pretty much whatever he wanted. Yeah, yeah, he was great in the open court, uh, dishing the ball off, very unselfish type player. He doesn't care about his points. He wants to win. That's the bottom line. Working off the screen right there, hitting the long-range bomb. Distributing the ball perfectly. That's a pass off of Tao Lau, but a lead pass right there, showing some courage there, being hacked, going down, making the shot, and still hitting the free throw as well to complete a three-point play. Four, four rebounds, five assists, and four steals for Chris Banchero, an excellent afternoon. And I'd have to say, through seven games of the season, he is really an MVP candidate. Uh, he looks to me, I, I haven't seen the games that you have, but he seems to me to be the premier point guard in the league. If there is one better that I haven't seen, then that hats off to them, but they'll have to go away to uh, do what Chris Banchero did today from what we saw. Kyle Jeffers became the focal point for the Singapore Slingers offense. And and at times it seemed like he was the total sum of what they did on the offensive end. Well, certainly he ends up with 20 points, a lot of them in that tough, tough second half where he was basically operating by himself, getting hardly any help at all from his running mate, Jenny. Jenny's pretty much gassed after the third quarter, so having to carry the offensive pressure by himself as he always does. And there he is again on the dunk, getting in between two defenders right there late in the fourth quarter. And you know, Kyle Jeffers, as you say, 20 points. He needed 24 shots to do it. The Slingers collectively shooting an abysmal 22%. I mean, that's an extremely low percentage, just 15% from three-point yeah, land. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to win any games like that. I don't care what league you're in. On the other side of the ball, the uh, Beerman shooting 41%, and that's away. But shooting 22% on your home court, are you kidding me? How many games can you win like that? And uh, Again, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They have to take a long look at their guard position. I know they are dedicated. They're committed to their local players. But uh, something's going to have to give because they're just not getting enough production. With the loss, the Slingers now 4-4. Four and four. Let's take a look at the ABL standings. The Indonesia Warriors on a long break leading the league at 6-2. and two. Beermen now in sole possession of second place with a game coming up in a week's time. The Slingers get a two-week break which we're trying to go above 500. Our next game come to you March 1st from Tonbin Stadium in Ho Chi Minh City. The Saigon Heat face the Thailand Slammers. And then the next day, the San Miguel Beer Men back home at Inara Sports Arena meet the Westport Malaysia Dragons. That is going to do it. The San Miguel Beer Men beat the Singapore Slingers 66-55 and are now above 500. For Michelle Holland and Chuck Schreiner, I'm Sean Farquhar. For the rest of our Super Sports Arena crew, we'll say goodbye from Singapore.